uh, they pro they begin before or after the hurricane of 1933. What's that? Your memories of the beach? Oh, I remember when when the, the storm came and destroyed the beach. Okay, yeah. so you remember before the yeah. storm as well? Yeah, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because I remember uh, one of my mother's friends, she uh, sold, uh, she made crab meat, crab salad and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And she didn't want to leave the beach. She had this little shack where she sold things. And she did not want to leave it. Do you know she stayed right there, went right out in that ocean? She was not moved. She, so she, she passed ran, away? Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, so sad. That mother, is sad. Yeah, really is. yeah, a lot of people lost their lives down there. See, mm -hmm. a lot of people moved down there. They had little shacks down there, and they moved down there. Mm -hmm. You know, in the summer, they just stayed down there all night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and now... They had a hotel there. Okay, Bayshore Hotel. Mm -hmm. Okay. And one of my father's friends, uh, what was his name? I can see him now. He's a nice man. He was the director of it. But I don't know, really don't know what to discuss at the board meeting. I never asked my dad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it, um, how do you remember the beach looking? What did it look like in your youngest years? There was theory? nothing special about it, really. It really was. It was hard to believe it was a beach because it was so much different than our beach in the place. Okay. Tell me about what the difference was. Well, they had a nicer buildings. They had more things over at the White Beach. They had different buildings and things, and they had different rides we didn't have. Mm -hmm. you know. Now, they had a merry-go-round down there, and one other uh, ride, but they very, had very big things like that. Mm -hmm. They had a lot of concessions down there, mm -hmm. and they had a, uh, a dance hall down there. Mm -hmm. that they had dances. The bands came, Erskine Hawk, and a lot of the black bands came down Okay. There. And they had, you could hire for a dance, lots of turns, and clubs had their dances there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What bands do you remember coming? Erskine Hawkins, Jimmy Lunchfoot. Mm -hmm. I, I never heard of Duke Ellington. I doubt if Duke Ellington came to the beach. Mm -hmm. But Erskine Hawkins, Jimmy Lunchfoot. My grandmother has a photo signed by Dizzy Gillespie. Oh, really? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think now, he no, was performing Dizzy wasn't down. around during those days. No, he, the ones you he remember? He was probably a kid then. <laughs> but uh, that's all I can remember. Like I said, you used to have a lot of dances there. What style of music during that time period was it called? What was the music called? Well, the, I don't know. It wasn't called jazz. It wasn't jazz. It was it prior was to not, that, yeah, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was it more like a ragtime style? call it right after swing. Swing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it would be. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I remember my daddy told me not to go down to the beach at night to those dances, you know. <laughs> I think Erskine Hawkins was playing there. My boyfriend and I, we decided to ride down and see what was going on. Mm -hmm. so I said, Mac, let's go inside. I said, I'll just get in trouble. I'm going inside. So we went there and went up to the balcony. And uh, Erskine Hawkins was playing and I was just so excited to be out here. I looked over there and I saw some of my parents' friends. I said, Mac, let's get out of here. I'm dead. So I don't know whether they saw me and that mother never said anything to me about it. So I figured they didn't. I don't know. And that was in a theater? No, down at Bayshore in the dance hall. In the dance hall. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, yeah, so and these bands used to. And Lucky Miller, now, that was an old, old band. Mm -hmm. Lucky Miller used to come down. Mm -hmm. yeah. But people used to come. They used to have about. I guess about six or eight coaches that would come down from Richmond every Sunday with people to the beach. Mm. Every Sunday would come. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them would get to fighting and all, and they get arrested. And my mother's home was over there in the hospital at that time. We'd be sitting on our porch, and the cops would come up to the emergency ambulance, and the drunk people would get out. They'd be fighting over there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Was that scary if it was cops? Well, they arrest them down at the beach. Mm -hmm. See, these were blacks that came and used to get drunk, get to fighting, you know. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. But they didn't stop them from coming down there. Did they, they have black cops? Oh, no. no, only white no, cops. No, no. Okay. They on let me see. They have only got black policemen since I've been home, and I came home in '51. Okay. Mm -hmm.